Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Morton Power here. Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you guys are having a powerful day. Today, we are going to be bringing back a series that we do at the beginning of every single Call of Duty uh, that we since we started this channel, and that is going to be the best class setups. Um, and today, we are going to be taking a look at actually one of my favorite guns in this game, and that is the PPSH-41. Okay, so to start out with, you're going to uh, get the PPSH unlocked really early in the game, which I, I like because it's actually a really, really good gun that you get early, and a lot of Call of Duties lately have been doing that. The uh, first thing we're going to look at is the Division. Now, the PPSH is unlocked under the Airborne Division, but I actually do not use the Airborne Division anymore. Um, I might actually start using it with different variations, but for this class setup, I, uh, I, I'm going for more of an aggressive class setup. So we're going to be using the infantry division, um, which you'll get uh, in the progression. You get a bayonet, but I don't think you'll get it with the submachine gun. I only think you get that with the actual uh, uh, rifles, but I don't actually use it for the bayonet. The next three things are what I use it for, and that is an additional primary attachment, which means you get three... Um, attachments, but we'll talk about that in a minute because there's something else that'll add a fourth attachment to your gun. But you also get extra magazines when you get it to level three, and then you move significantly faster while aiming down sights. Now, if you uh, don't know what that means, that is actually basically having the stock attachment without actually having it as an attachment, which helps you uh, strafe better and you can move better. Um, move faster while aiming down sights. The next thing we're going to talk about is the basic training that we're going to use for this gun, uh, or for this class rather. Now there's a lot of really good uh, basic trainings, but because we're trying an aggressive style with the submachine gun, we're going to go with the primed uh, basic training. Now this is a really, really good um, basic training because it has two really really important things that it does the first thing that it does is like i was saying when i was talking about the division is the that it adds an additional primary attachment now when you stack that with the infantry division you will get four attachments instead of two which in the long run is going to help you out tremendously now the biggest part of this uh this basic training is you flinch less when shot now if you notice if you're in gunfights and you get shot and your gun kicks up that is what we call flinch it's one thing that a lot of Call of Duty pros and a lot of YouTubers have been talking about lately that they really do not like in the game and I'm gonna agree with them because it's you gotta have a lot of skill to be able to manage flinch uh, so using this basic training will lessen the flinch that you have when you get shot so that you can actually stay on target better and get and kill more and uh, win more gunfights. Now on to the most important part of this class and that is the attachments. Since we're running the infantry division and the prime basic training, we get four attachments instead of two. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out with an optic. You don't actually have to have an optic. Um, you can run it with or without so you can add something else, but I personally like to use the optic. And we're gonna start out with the reflex sight just because it has a wider uh, reticle and you can actually see your uh, peripheral vision is a little bit more expanded rather than the lens sight. The next attachment we are going to be using is the grip. Now this gun, because it's a, a high firing, fast firing submachine gun, it does have a pretty good bit of recoil. So what we're gonna do is the next two attachments are actually to manage that recoil when you're uh, when you're shooting so that you can stay on target better and win these gunfights and now grip will help out with that the next attachment that pairs up with the grip is steady aim which allows your uh, it's better accuracy when you're hip firing now uh, this gun I wouldn't say to hip fire all the time but I feel like this uh, steady aim helps me out a lot while I'm if I'm 
you know, if I see an enemy coming up close and I don't have enough time to ADS, I'm just going to hit fire and this will actually help you be more accurate when you hit fire. Now something that you don't really see a lot on uh, SMGs is advanced rifling. I'm using advanced rifling just because I want a little bit more damage at longer ranges and I'm not talking about um, super super long ranges I'm talking about more of longer mid ranges uh, just so that I can uh, win more gunfights and I'm not pumping as many bullets into an enemy at a little bit farther ranges than I normally would try and uh, and engage an enemy with and the last thing we're going to talk about in this best class setup is actually the secondaries and lethals that we're going to use these aren't really that important but i mean this, the secondary that i'm going to use is basically like a second primary and that is the uh, machine pistol the machine pistol is a really really high firing uh automatic uh, pistol that they actually had to nerf um within the first update of the game because it was basically a pocket smg so I just use that whenever I run low on bullets and I, I can't really reload so I'll just switch and use my machine pistol and then the lethal that I'm using is MQ2 MK2 my bad fragmentation and that's just a grenade uh, that'll throw um, just to try to pick off enemies uh, a little bit farther down uh, on the sides of the map or if I know there's an enemy camping in a window or something I'll just chuck it in there and get a free kill and that's gonna do it ladies and gentlemen this is my best class setup for the PPSH uh, this is more of a aggressive push heavy best class setup uh, rather than a uh, laid-back soft kind of defensive uh, strategy but if you enjoyed leave a like let me know in the comment section of if you use this uh, setup, uh, how it worked for you, and if you have any uh, suggestions for me for a class setup, just drop those in the comment section. Also, let me know what, um, what guns you would like to see me do the best class setup for. I think the next video that I'm going to do is the MP40 uh, best class setup. I did a video already um, showcasing that gun, but I want to do a best class setup on it. And uh, then I'm also going to try to do... Um, another SMG I don't know which one yet but that's gonna do it um, hopefully you guys have a great day uh, hopefully this helped you out uh, leave a like comment subscribe if you're new to the channel and I'll see y'all on the next video